RJ Duhart and Armando Bacon jump setter. Elliot Cadeau controls, and away we go from the Smith Center out of the holiday break. One thing that's different about this Tar Heel team this year is that just the ball's moving. And it seems to find that guy quite a bit. <laughs> RJ Davis, who's scoring in bunches. He gets 15 and 8 a game and was preseason all conference. Meanwhile, for the Heels, you know, Bacon and Davis, they've got the first two buckets, setting the tone for Carolina. Again, the ball is just moving there. I want to look inside and take advantage of Mamondo inside, but the ball's going to move. They're not going to force it into him, and whoever's open is just taking shots. DJ Patrick. You asked Hubert Davis the areas to improve the rest of the year. Defense and rebounding will dig into that. Davis, transition three. 23 plus, as we said, in seven straight games for R.J. Davis. Patrick turns the corner, lost it on the way up, and recovers. Charleston Southern seemed to be content with allowing Carolina four and five men to shoot those threes. That is Alon Sumler going to work on D.J. Patrick, backs it out to R.J. Davis, who gets a ball screen from Baycott. Davis again. He's come out cooking. 23 points, four rebounds, five assists, three steals, and he didn't turn the basketball over once. There's Tajay Kelly, you love his game. Davis, the left hand gets the roll, and RJ Davis has an early 10. Squared up Johnson, moved it for Baycott, and now the freshman Cadeau wraps it around for Ryan. Great job coming off the stack of screen there. See the way they're playing the Carolina big. They're sagging off, so they're able to turn a corner like Ingram does here. High off the glass and rolled off. Washington to stick back. And that's what happens when you switch that. Guard come. Big for him to get extended minutes here for the Carolina. Davis turned the corner and now pick and pop. That's he did that too. Yeah, that's what he does. He's really comfortable doing that. You just can't give him the same look. He's too good for that. It's too much experience. Like now, you're in drops. He's going to eat this alive all game long. Another offensive rebound for Washington. And a quick seven for the backup pick. He gets deep. And when a guard gets that deep against drop coverage, you have to switch it. And again, you challenge your big to get in. And here's Creed, another turnover here. Davis got the tip. Tremble. Lays it in. The off and running at the other. You were thinking poster, Randolph Children. Look at this jump and go here. Carolina up big here early. And the guards are able to turn the corner and put pressure on the rim as much as they want. They just don't need to settle. Kelly has that one get pinned. And a hell of a ball, the arrow keeps it at this end. The defense for R.J. Davis is now on par this year the way we need it. Then the other thing he said after the win over Oklahoma. That's such a high level. Cadeau, the freshman, is the only starter on the floor for the heels right now. Tasha Kelly went pivoting through the lane and then missed it too strong. Wojcik rises. Can't hit. And tip back out to Tremble. Tremble off the bounce, goes spinning and finishing. You get any shot you want in games like this, you've gotten off to a really good offensive start. Just move the ball. Another, another young player coming out. RJ Davis and Cormac Ryan sitting at the table ready to come in. Johnson with his first points. And he's been very efficient from three-point range as well this year. You know what means something to him from North Carolina. He grew up wanting to play against the Tar Heels, if not play for the Tar Heels. Well, a guy who's been bringing energy when he does come into the game off the bench. True freshman from San Antonio. Bank out of bank. Yeah, you use that as a teachable moment. Just two points on now one of seven shooting. For Tajay Kelly. Baycott with another chance at a three-point play. He finishing at the rim on the move makes it really difficult. He's not an above-the-rim guy. He's a below-the-rim guy. More agile than people think he is. As soon as he puts on the jersey, just put it in the book. Patrick's feeling good. And buries another. DJ Patrick's second three, and he's got eight points. They're in his 1-3-1 to kind of get Carolina out of their rhythm. They've used this 5% of the time this year. Baycott from Davis. I think the only guy affected from that range is Seth, Seth Curry. <laughs> Johnson has it blocked by Baycott with .2 left on the shot clock. What are the vets? We got a big time crew here. Cormac Ryan for three. He's a streaky guy. 34% for his career.
career. Of course, two years ago at Notre Dame had that big season where he shot 41% from three. And a good defender. Whoa! Ingram went somersaulting over Baycott. These first 17 minutes. Only fouled once as well, and that was the tech on Zayden High. Patrick for three. That's his third. Then spent a couple of years in South Florida, but didn't start there. And last year missed a bunch of time with an ankle injury. Washington has had a great first half. You gotta find him. For the second time in this year. At 11 against UC Riverside. Good hands from RJ Davis. Davis with entry for Washington. What a half for Jalen Washington. Trey tonight in here, just a mix up in coverage. And won't get a dunk any easier than that. I think from a physical standpoint, the four spot is a lot more natural for Jalen. Jalen Washington. He's recovered, he had injuries in high school. And he's just not a big guy. Ryan down the lane. Charleston no. Southern's got to get it over, and they do to Duhart. Nine seconds into the timer. And now Heath drives and scores. So coming up on this final minute before halftime, Ingram knocks it down. RJ Johnson gives it up to Kelly, who flips for Alon Subler. Turn in the corner. Son Emily said to us today that a lot of the credit goes to their staff since the change freeing up Sumler as Ingram responds with the three. Just coming in and just shooting the basketball well. Scores on all three levels. The length, I think, of this game is bothering him some. And, but he can really score. R.J. Duhart steps out and sinks one his first points. Cadeau off the bounce. Driving on Kelly. Got his own miss and follow. First points for the freshman from West Orange, New Jersey. As he get in the conference play, he'll learn that teams will start giving him that shot because there's so much, comp, you know, so much scoring ability around him. There's your defense for Cormac Ryan. He stripped Kelly. Davis spins out of the corner. Davis attacks and finishes. R.J. Davis putting on a show. Kelly on the follow away, not there. His struggles continue now. Two of nine shooting. Cadeau knocks down the three. All right, you said more aggressive. What's that look like? Just being able to do that. Just knock down open shots and be more aggressive in the transition. His first three-point make in more than a month. You know, you don't. The score is zero-zero. You got to continue to play and defend. Johnson got his own miss and found Patrick. Trying to knock down another three. But they've done a really good job. They were yeah. prior to that. They were plus 14 on the glass and. That's a good sign of it, taking care of the basketball. Good hands by Davis, who takes the ball, and a chance at three. Oh, that's just clinical on both ends from R.J. Davis. I mean, look at this. Coming around the corner, he fights. Tips to the head. It's just a great catch and finish there. Coming up on 13 and a half to go in the second half. Tremble trying to lock up Alon Sumler. Pivoting on the baseline, and Tremble matched him. Tremble pushes, drives, finishes. An old Mike Gray favorite. Davis goes spinning, bouncing, winners! And scoring as well. He's doing it all there. The drop pass comes down. They're trying to run him off the screen there. Couldn't get their spacing organized to free Davis. Left alone. Counting. Can't do that! Counting. <laughs> Tremble. Driving. And couldn't finish. That's the one thing I think, you know, when they go back and they watch film, that Hubert's going to speak to those guys about. They've had quite a bit of those plays where they, you don't mind your guards attacking. 2.1 seconds to shoot it here. Sumler does and hits. They got that guy coming yes, on as well. Man, he can score it. I mean, make no mistake. Don't judge him by tonight. I mean, coming in tonight, he was 16 points his last five games, but he can score it on all three levels. Withers for three to answer. It's Jaden Thompson.
freshman from Concord, North Carolina. Sumler, we told you, will shoot it about 17 times a game. <laughs> and he is making them right now. Knocked down his last two bombs from behind the three-point line. And you got to get to him. Cadeau. Cadeau, Tremble, Wojcik, Withers, and Baycott, one through five for the Heels. With Washington indeed getting ready to check in. Duhart banks in a wow. three. Wojcik is one and wants more minutes. Withers is another one. And, and Washington has had a good night. Two more for Jalen Washington. He's got a new career high with 15. It's ability to stretch the floor. Sumler's hot. He checked. Third three in a row for Alon Sumler, and he's got 19 points. Washington going to work on Duhart. And the confidence is rising for the sophomore. Sumler with Trimble pressed down on him. Kelly follows. Ball screen from Washington. Tremble pulls up. Just so comfortable right now and that not settling. Cadeau moves it. Wojcik off the shot fake and one. And he got hit in the chops too. Paxson Wojcik got popped. He's bleeding and he's getting attention on the bench. Trying to check back in. Yeah, you can see him come down right there. Clearly accidental by Cadeau thought about it. Trying to take Sumler off the bounce. Oh, nice finish. Hey now. Yeah. And they're gonna open up ACC. When I open up ACC play, they're gonna open up New Year's with three straight road games in the ACC. It's a brutal stretch to start. He's why I think they're so they're just different. They got a guy like that, his experience, his ability to score it just changes the dynamic of that team. Withers in the heels force a shot clock violation. So well, here at Chapel Hill coming up on three minutes to go in a game in which Carolina's dominated out of their holiday break layoff. Trimble scores two more. He's leading the ACC in scoring and Armando's leading the ACC in rebound. The last time they had a pair do that was looking for a hundred. Withers, handoff, Okakwo, finishes. And the fans go berserk because it's two for one. Yes, sausage biscuits. Yes. And try to get this team to improve the way they have, and they've done so. They've respond, they're, they responded to it. I know you look at the score tonight. Coming out of the holiday break with as thorough and convincing an effort as they had tonight. I think Hubert Davis is going to be pretty pleased with this one from both ends. 105 to 60. Carolina wins and is 9-3. And, and they get the dub in their final non-conference game of the season.